one guitar junkie. Now we're going to look at the G form. Um, here's our G chord. I'm going up to the fifth position where that would be a C chord. And the same scale down there. And there's a slightly different fingering once you make a movable form, but you should be at the page where you can see the diagrams. So here's my G form chord and the G form scale. Now, if I start on there, and you'll notice the numbers on the diagram, those are the degrees of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Those are not the fingers, that's the degrees of the scale. If I start on six, six, seven, one, that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, that's a natural minor. So using the same scale form, I can get a minor scale, I can get a major scale, mode by starting on the second on the, the two. And I can get my pentatonic. Here's a major pentatonic by starting on one and leave it, you leave out um, number four and number seven to get a pentatonic. And there's my root an octave up, my root an octave down. my full major pentatonic if I treat this note as the root. Now that's a C major pentatonic because that's a C, but the form that we're using is our G form. So this is the G form C major pentatonic. Now if I treat the A as the root, which on the diagram is number six, I have an A minor pentatonic at the same fret position, that's an A, now I have an A minor pentatonic, treating this note as the root, the A, but it's still a C form, I mean a G form scale, G form scale, fifth position, we can get our major scale, we can get our minor scale, minor, I mean our major pentatonic, and our minor pentatonic. So you can get all your pentatonics and all the other modes out of there too if you go to the mode page, and that's the G form.